Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a skimp versus splurge kind of thing. So what that means is skimp means you don't have to spend much money. Splurging obviously means, yeah, you're going to have to invest some cash. So I'm going to be going through all the steps of your skincare routine and let you know if you should invest or splurge on those products or if it doesn't really matter, you can skimp and not really spend that much by the product from your local drugstore. So if you like the sound of that, let's just get straight into the video. So the first step of your skincare routine should be a makeup remover. For this one, we're gonna splurge. It's really important when you're getting a makeup remover that you want to avoid ones with alcohols, which a lot of them do have in, like your makeup wipes, they've got alcohol in it, and that's just gonna dry your skin out and it's pretty nasty. Mind you, if you do wanna skimp on this one, you can use micellar water. That one's fine, micellar water's always good. Just make sure you look at the ingredients. If there's any alcohol, steer clear, but if it's just like micelles and water, that's good. But if you're gonna use makeup wipes, make sure that you're investing in some good ones, some natural or organic ones. Ones. And then if you want to use a proper like makeup remover or like pre-cleanse kind of thing You should also invest in that one because there can be some really nasty ingredients in makeup removers Some really good ones are the Clinique I think it's take the day off that cleansing balm that you use or Pre-cleanse by Dermalogica. That's a really good one, too, and they're not too expensive. They're just not cheap Next step is cleansing now with your facial cleansers. You can actually skip which is great. So you don't have to spend too much money on a cleanser. At the end of the day, all it's doing is getting rid of the dirt and bacteria that's on your face. It's not like it needs to be very active or have really amazing ingredients in it because you're just wiping it off your face. So if you are gonna skimp on those products just by natural or organic, even the tea tree wash if you've got acne. Mind you, if you do have an issue that you wanna treat, whether it be aging, acne, sensitivity, you can definitely spend a bit more money if you want. It just totally depends on what you want out of your cleanser. But if you want it just to take off the rest of your makeup or just cleanse the day off really you're fine to just use anything from your drugstore the next step is exfoliants now this one's a bit of a tricky one, but I'm gonna say usually you can skimp on this product. If you're talking about mechanical exfoliants, so like the ones where you're physically scrubbing your face with beads or a granular exfoliant, usually your drugstore stuff is fine. I know so many people love the St. Ives apricot scrub, but I can tell you that one's not a good one because it's got apricot kernels. The way that they're cut, it's actually very um, pointy and it can cause micro tears in the skin. That just leads to all sorts of problems. So Stay away from that one. I know everyone seems to love that one for some reason. I think because people think that it is so granular, so they think that it's really good. Granules doesn't always mean that the exfoliant's better. So again, if you are gonna buy an exfoliant from a drugstore, make sure that you are going for like the organic natural kind of products. Try not to use anything too harsh or that says that it's good for acneic skin because usually they've got a few nasty ingredients in them. And this one's like the cleanser. If you do have issues, you wanna prevent any aging or things like that you can get a chemical exfoliant and if you are gonna buy a chemical exfoliant which is like your AHAs and your BHAs it's better to go and buy a higher-end product for that one but usually you can skimp on an exfoliant next we're gonna talk about toners or facial mists this one is great because you can skimp on this too this out of all the steps in your skincare routine it's probably the least important if you're using good products that are pH balanced you don't really need to worry about a facial mist it's kind of an unnecessary step I think a lot of people will disagree with me there and I know that but if you are using pH balanced products you don't really need to use a facial mist or a toner but if you were there are some really good ones if you've got oily skin you can use like a witch hazel which you can just buy from your chemist or drugstore and that's gonna be really good to just use every second or third day not every day but that's really good for temporarily tightening your pores and equalizing your oil flow if you don't have oily skin Mario Badescu has some really good facial sprays which I love I love the rose water and the aloe one's really good as well. Sorry, I'm like holding tweezers. I don't even know why. Yeah, those ones are good. I know that they're from Mecca, but they're actually not ridiculously priced, so that's good. I personally would never think to buy a high-end facial mist, so go for your life with your drugstore products. Next, we're going to talk about serums. I'm going to say splurge for this one because serums are usually highly active. They've got some really potent ingredients in them usually. If a serum doesn't have active ingredients in it, it's not really going to do anything. So normally, I would splurge but then I came across the brand The Ordinary. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but I'm gonna do a full review. I'm gonna buy heaps more products from that brand and do a full review because the couple of serums that I have bought from that brand are just absolutely incredible. Their salicylic acid has helped my acne so much. Not this little bit right now, but 
It's my time of the month. So I'm going to link the website that I buy the Ordinary products from down below. By the way, this isn't sponsored. I just love that brand. But if you're not going to buy the Ordinary brand serums, I haven't actually found another cheapish brand that does make serums that are actually good. So then I would definitely say splurge if you've got a serum. Because usually serums are used to treat an issue that you've got. And often for these kinds of treatment style products, you do have to kind of fork out a bit of cash dollar. Now we're talking eye creams. With eye creams, I would splurge. I personally don't use an eye cream. I don't think there's any point at all buying a drugstore or cheap eye cream because like the serums, they're usually very active that are used to treat aging or prevent aging. You're not going to find anything amazing at a drugstore. You might find some good ones for just like hydrating, but also a lot of the time the drugstore eye creams, they're really thick. They're not really designed for around the eye area. So that can cause other issues like milia, which is those little white bumps and it can just get pretty pointless to be honest to use a cheap eye cream so I would always spend a little bit extra if I wanted my money's worth out of an eye cream now we're moving on to moisturizers I would always splurge on a moisturizer the reason for this is because it's the kind of like the last step of your skincare routine it's going to last you from the morning to the night and then you're gonna reapply it in the night and then it's gonna last you from the night to the morning so it's something that's on your face basically 24 7 so you want it to be good you've got to pretty protect your skin from these like harsh environmental factors. So I personally wouldn't use a brand from a drugstore, but if you were and you were just starting out with skincare, those natural and organic brands are also fine. They're just not really gonna do much for your skin. They're basically just gonna be a protective barrier and lock in any hydration, but they're not actually going to put any good ingredients into your skin. But if you're fine with that, then that's more than okay. You can definitely skimp on those products, but I myself would recommend splurging, especially Especially if you have an issue or a concern that you want to treat or look after and remember even you guys with oily skin you've got to moisturize and last but definitely not least we're talking SPF I recommend they can definitely skip on these products because an SPF is an SPF if it says SPF 15 it's gonna be SPF 15 but the only thing is make sure that you get one that is designed for the face the body ones can act a little bit differently or they can be a bit too rich or thick for the face so definitely get a facial SPF SPF and if you do want to splurge on your SPF or your sunscreen you've got more choice if that makes sense like they do nice ones for oily skin and they have nice ones for sensitive skin because I know a lot of people do react to the SPF and I know that a lot of people hate putting sunscreen on their face because it makes them feel like they're oily so if you do kind of skimp on an SPF you've only got a few different products to choose from but if you go you know into a salon or buy online for a like higher end sunscreen you can definitely get more bang for your buck and you'll get one that's more tailored to your skin type Okay, you guys, that concludes our video today. I'm sweating up a storm. I don't know why it's really hot in here. I feel like I'm an oily mess. I hope that you enjoyed this week's skincare Sunday. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions and I will definitely get to as many of those as I can. I've really loved the response that you guys gave me last week for my skincare Sunday videos. I got a lot of good ideas from you guys as well. So I'm just really excited that you guys are excited to do this every week because I freaking love talking about the skin as you know. But anyway, if if you did like the video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you next week for a couple more videos thanks for watching guys Are you with me?